All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So you guys voted on the decks in the polls, and you guys selected aliens. They got one new card. One new card. And you guys decided to go with aliens? Like, okay. That's fine, I guess. So uh, with that, I decided to go ahead and take it to the next level. So similar to what we did with Medotis and Crystal Beast, we are running Performa Pal Alien. So let's see how that goes. Hopefully that goes over well. Uh, I mean, aliens could definitely use the boost, so there's no, uh, there's no complaining there. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that guitar turtle, we'll go ahead and grab that monkey board. Like, you already know that it's going to be good. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna, I don't plan on pendulum summoning or doing anything on, along those lines, so, uh, I think I'll just hold on to the monkey board just in case shit has to fan, so I think I'll just go ahead and pick my pot of greed. Like, you already know, the Pomo Pals, they're, they're great, they're great. I right, drew this, so that's nice. I don't have any aliens in the graveyard yet, so I kind of need to draw into my, my new card, my quick play spell card. Or I could just draw into the skull card I'm planning on searching on, uh, searching with, but yeah, that's fine too. So, um, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Now, if you kill me, you kill me. But uh, I think the Torment Pile Engine, the addition, uh, will definitely have aliens. They deserve it. So, the reason why this episode is called Nostalgia. Oh my god, that was a uh, painful choice. Wow, name a choice for Skull Servant. Send a Skull Servant, add a Skull Servant, please. Like, I guess that I mean, that works. That totally works. I thought it was always a... Uh, no, 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 it's all for a lore. Oh, painful. <laughs> uh, and freaking Magical Mallet, take that neg one. Took that neg one. Alright, that's fine. So skull Servants. Uh, it's been a while since this deck was on Daily Dolls, I can tell you that. Um, the reason why the episode's called Nostalgia is because it's been such a long fucking time since I played this deck. Like, extremely long. Like, wow. Like, such a long time. Uh, I played this deck almost eight, nine years ago. You know, I'd say it was my first, my first, uh, relevant deck. You know, my first, uh, deck with competence. You know, we, of course, we start off with Yukio, play that normal monster bullshit deck with no, you know, no, this is my first archetypal competent deck. And, uh, this is before the Sacred Mechanic. Like, I remember vividly that five, I think 5 Beasts just got revealed because I remember seeing Star Strike it and then drawing Star Strike it back in 8th uh, grade. So, this was like before, you know, my level 1 tuner, before my Synchro Monster, before all of that, you know? So, uh, to now be doing what, uh, now is pretty interesting, I must say. Uh, I think I might go ahead and actually play you in the Pendulum Scale and then Pendulum Summon. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems like a, a fine idea. Play you in the Pendulum Scale. I won't get, of course, I won't get the additional draw. Let's go ahead and Pendulum Summon. We'll go ahead and summon you, 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 and I guess you. You, summon you, summon you, summon you, then Sorcerer go off and pop you. And I believe I only have one card left. Yeah, one more lizard drawn. I'm actually running three lizard drawn here because I wanted to try it out back at three. I'm like, the deck profile of Medotra said I was going to try it out, so I was like, fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, overall, not bad. Uh, maybe I'm thinking like white, white, like 2000 booty. No, macaron. Ma 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 Martian, ma Martian macaron. So. You can go ahead and summon multiples, that's fine, but you only get the effect of it once per turn, so when I kill them all and they're all in the graveyard, you're not summoning anything, you know, anymore from anywhere else, so. But bad. So far, it's just mostly Performer Pal, no aliens. I would like I would like to get my quick play spell and stuff like that. Like, I'm not, like, it's kind of the opposite of, uh, this is like my third duel. Like, I deleted the first two because I opened up, like, ass and face something, some competitive top tier shit. I mean, maybe playing Performer Pal, but I'm still playing alien, so, ugh. And I, I keep on opening up the same shit. Like, this is the third time that I opened up with two fucking alien telepaths. Third time that I opened up two alien telepaths. Well, I think I opened one and I drew into my second one, but still. And you know, that's just kind of like, ugh. And then dog too. <sighs> Rip. <laughs> thanks, thanks, fucking my dear pro. Anyway, uh, to play aliens again is interesting. Now, when I say my alien deck was great, no, it was sacky as fuck. Like, I would literally just play aliens, put eight counters, take your shit, like, take your monster with the snatch tail card. Uh, Regeki? Like, wow. Rip. <laughs> Rip all my field. That's fine. I'm playing the pendulum mechanics. I can literally just sit on my pendulum scale again. Unless you kill me, but I don't think you can do that. But just like rip. Rip everything. Rip all my aliens. Rip my corner pals. Rip. <laughs> uh, ooh. Ooh. Intro chart. What the hell are you ritual summoning? Intro chart? Intro chart. Send. Blue. Oh. <laughs> 
I thought we were playing fucking fucking Skull Servants up in this bitch. When did fucking Chaos Max get here? Hello? <laughs> Just throwing Chaos Max because why the fuck not, people? Throwing Chaos Max because why the fuck not? I thought we were fucking playing against Skull Servants. When, where the fuck did Chaos Max come from? I'm not dead. I'm close to dead. I can't play this Instafusion anymore. I can tell you that. Wow. Like, where? Where did that come from? It <laughs> came out of fucking nowhere, that fucking RKO out of nowhere. I'm not really that into wrestling, but yeah. I, I've heard that say. I mean, I can still handle this situation. Like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. But it's just interesting that I was like, oh, Skull Servants. Okay, we're about we're about in the same boat. But I guess, hey, I'm playing Performal Pal, so I took it up to the next level. And you want to take it up to the next level by throwing in fucking blue eyes. Like, all right. All right. <laughs> Each time you face up an alien monster destroyed, plus eight counter, move two from anywhere on the field, summon an alien monster from my graveyard. So that's fine, I guess. Uh, I don't believe I have any more um, formal power monsters. Like, I think that's it. So we'll go ahead and play this. Activate laser draw, draw a card. Uh, did I remember to put a rank three in here? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Like, I think I need to put a rank three in here. Uh, nope, nope, I didn't. I need to put a ring three in here. Make the remember to myself, put a brick sword in here. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and activate that monkey board. He won't get, there's nothing else to search. Sorry, monkey board rip. Uh, I don't think so anyway. Oh, wait, there's Sor Sorcerer. I'd say, like, I, I couldn't, I was like, I have nothing else to search. Like, uh, Sorcerer can't search for himself, but so I still have Sorcerers. Ah, right, right, right. So, I mean, look at this hand. Like, fucking hella plus. Like, tell me I'm not fucking plus right now. So, when do you summon? When you normal summon an alien monster, you can special summon and gain some counters. Alright. So. I guess I'll go ahead and activate this. Like, I don't think I'm going to really use it. I can move two from anywhere on the field, so. I'm about to put some counters, so. With dog. It sucks that I can. Actually, you know what? I should have normal summoned this. And then pendulum summoned the rest, so. Uh, so. Because I can't, I can't pendulum summon this level one tuner, obviously. Uh, did you just put the counters on? Yeah, you just put the counters on. And I'll probably go into like, maybe like Castell and, and uh, at least one on you, one on you. Uh, I could remove to go ahead and summon the alien back, but I don't think that's necessary. I guess it's better than nothing, instead of using my, uh, these guys. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use that. Remove the counters that I just put on you. So go ahead and summon my alien telepath back. And you two, of course, go into a dark uh, utopia, utopia of lightning. That's the easiest way to handle chaos max, like obviously. Utopia, utopia of lightning. Then this, I'll probably spin away with Castell when I pendulum summon. Cause I'm about to pendulum summon right now, right here, right now. So. Uh, Go ahead and summon you back. So you're a nice 1800 beater. We'll summon Monk because I don't need him anymore. And I guess maybe a Performal Pal. I'm just kind of worried about dying. Like I, th I think I want to just summon my strongest monsters right now. Because if I die, then you know, rip. I might hold him. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and summon Sorcerer. Oh, I have nothing else to search with Sorcerer. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I was thinking that I could summon Sorcerer and then Sorcerer could pop the, the monkey board. So I could play Sorcerer on my Pendulum Scale next, but I can't. I can Twin Twister my own Pendulum Scale. I guess I can do that. I seriously doubt I would get much use out of Twin Twister in this duel. Go ahead and go into Castell with you two. Castell spin you back. <laughs> like, I don't want you in the graveyard. I don't want nothing to do with you. Go away. And, uh... Time to attack. So Utopia Lightning, handle that. I don't believe this is game. It might be game if I would have put the dog in attack mode, but I didn't do the math, so. Rip. Yeah, I don't think this is a game. Of course, Utopia Lightning, like, thank God, thank Christ for Utopia Lightning, or how would you handle Chaos Max? Like, you know, like, thank fucking Christ. Yeah, I think if I would turn the dog into attack mode, this would have been game, so. If I end up losing this duel, then that's my fault. But he literally has nothing. Drawing into one, and he's already used Regeki. Even if he drew into Regeki, I mean, or a Dark Hole or something along those lines, he would you know, still lose. So, yeah. That would have been exactly the game if I would have turned, if I had the Dark Tag mode. But, you know, better safe than sorry, because, you know, he could kill me uh, if I didn't have the dog in 
if I was if I didn't kill him and I had the dog in attack mode, that was 1500. It's way weaker than you know anything on the field. He could just easily summon something and kill me. Now we're both low on life points, but I got the resources. That, that's the thing. I got the resources. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it. And if you set anything, I can go twin twister, pop your set during your face, pop my monkey board, play my sorcerer, and then you know get the boost. A thousand boosts, that's nothing to scoff at either, so I believe that's game. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Got the got the first W. Alright, let's get another duel. So yeah, when I played Aliens, it was Saki. It was like wave motion cannon, Saki shit. Of course triple sucker its armor, because that was the top tier shit back then. Like look how old this shit is. Like the nostalgia of nostalgia. I'll go ahead and go second. So uh Tan's not terrible because I have this. I gotta have Pendulum Rising. Once again, two fucking telepaths and a fucking uh, alien dog. Like, again. Ooh, we are facing Dark Lords. Uh, if you guys do not know, Dark Lords are actually on Daily Duels as well. Uh, they are on Wednesday, I wanna say. So, you know, maybe I can go ahead and see some things. See some things. Uh, I have the deck made, but I'm not really confident in it. So, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But, uh, now I'll go ahead and play your Dark Lord guy. Pitch, uh, kind of, uh, trade in. Pretty good. Pretty good, you know. Just since they're not all eight, so that kind of sucks. But uh, they're doing some, we're doing some competitiveness with that too. But you gotta wait until Wednesday to see some of that. Uh, once again, just open up the fucking telepath and dog. Two telepaths, dog. Like, this is literally like the I've drawn telepath every single fucking hand for the last four duels. You only saw one, but this is my fourth duel recording. I right, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do editing because I feel like I'm gonna get my my booty smacked when it comes to the deck. So I don't want to like have a daily duels video of just quitting, 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 but then I also don't want to edit and cut out shit and then repeat myself over and over and over again, because I've said the intro like three times already. But, wave motion cannon, sacky shit, aliens, like I, you know. But now, since they actually have uh, that one spell card that yeah, for some reason got on there, like I would not be surprised. I believe Ancient Gears has been on the polls, but it never got voted on, but I'm probably assuming that Ancient Gears would probably be next month, but come on, come on. I mean, Ancient Gear cards are pretty powerful. Like, we could probably do something like that. That should be fun. But, uh, I don't know, maybe like Ancient Gear Odd Eyes Magicians? Maybe, maybe something like that? Maybe Odd Eyes stuff? Because that seems probably powerful too. So go ahead and use Skyrus to pop. Or Metal Foes. Metal Foes to pop too. I don't know. I don't know. We'll think about it if it ever gets voted on. I don't know. But, uh, for now, Aliens, Perform Power, I think, you know, his hand's not terrible. Uh, depending on what I draw. I, wait, I can summon this. Special summon this. I'm waiting for you to fucking do your draw. Like, I don't know what we're waiting for, but we've been sitting here waiting. Like, you played this, Drew, but you haven't resolved your draw. So, it's kind of weird. Like, I don't even think this starts a chain or anything like that. Like, unless you have something in your hand. You discard this card and one Dark Lord Fallen draw card. Nope, nope, there's a chain right there. Semicolon. So, we're waiting on you to do something. Something in your hand can go off. Semicolon, then draw two. So, uh, we're waiting on you to spawn. Like, alright. But no. Uh, I can go ahead and summon this. Special summon this. Play Pendulum Rising. Get rid of this. Summon Sorcerer. Sorcerer pop this. Pop the dog. And then get my two performing power cards and go to town, you know? So, like I said, Rising is just so freaking great, you know? Just make you want to run level more level fours. Like... I believe the flow of force we're running is our normal monster, 1900 beater. Uh, I would run the alien that, um, what's it called? Kid, I think it's the one, where you put eight counters on special monsters. But one of the duels, it wasn't working. Like, I don't know how to activate it. Like, I summoned it, it didn't activate. I couldn't click it to activate. And I was like, he had special monsters in the field. And I was like, how come I can't put the counters? I don't know. So we just said, fuck him. If he's not going to work and be 1600, we might as well just run the vanilla 1900 beater. So fuck it. And apparently my opponent's not even going to do it here. But I talked a lot, so fuck it. Well, I mean, GG, I guess. Like, I was kind of interested to see what, how you approach the fucking deck. Because the way I approach the deck right now, on paper, there's so much shit in that deck, like, holy crap. So, uh, there's going to be a lot of cutting. That deck is eventually going to get cut down, but for now, we're, on Wednesday, we're going to go all in. So, I guess my opponent's not here. I don't know what happened. Maybe he had, like, a Max C or something he had in his hand who wanted to chain, but that he could have chained? I don't know. So, we're just getting our duel bear back. Alright, so hopefully this deck, I mean, this duel goes. I said, the opening hand wasn't terrible. This opening hand is not terrible, but I keep on drawing fucking telepaths. Like, holy crap. <laughs> holy crap, but overall, oh, oh, Dynamis. All right, this should be a difficult, this should be a difficult duel. Because <laughs> uh, not only is it Dynamis, but uh, also Infinity. I mean, Best Friend Infinity. It's one of the main decks that you go ahead and see. But I need to figure out a way to put some eight counters on. If I could get some eight counters, like, spots background and stuff like that, like, I would love to get my quick play spell, the new card, but come on. Come on, like, 
That's the whole probably the whole reason why we're fucking playing aliens. As anybody suggested, because I got one new fucking card and I'm not even getting it. Like the card is pretty powerful. I would love to get that card right now. So go ahead and kind of summon your Dynamis and uh, it'll be fun. Oh, I got dog. All right. If I got dog, then we might be able to do something. We might be able to do something. So I can go ahead and normal summon. Like, I think I should just go ahead and activate this. Like, we'll probably end up playing this, a Mysterious Triangle. I just go ahead and summon this, special summon this, put two counters, and I can remove a counter to pop a back rail so I can crack his pendulum scales. No, I can't, because Dynamis charge. Like, he'll probably end up blocking, but I guess I'll try anyway, you know? So, let's go. Once again, just telepath dog, telepath dog, telepath dog. Like, alright. At least I got the, the alien ammonite, so I can, when this goes, I can... No, do a play like that. So, go ahead and put some counters on you. Then I can activate this, remove a counter to pop up back row. So, that's nice. Telepathy, I mean. Yeah, you're definite too. Uh, I said I can crack the pendulum scales, but. What an Card effect that targets another Donimus card. Good chill and get that. You need to destroy it. Uh, well, your pendulum scale is six, so I think you have less sixes than threes. So if I pop your six, you might not get it, but I'm assuming you could just go ahead and block and do all those things. Like, it's Dynamis. They're, they're a very defensive pendulum thing. So you're going to pop your own pendulum scale and draw a card instead of me popping it. And then get to add that shit back. Like, alright. So it really didn't matter if I pop this pendulum scale because you could just add it back anyway, so. Yep. This is going to be a difficult duel, but I guess, I'll, like I said, I'm just going to do my plays anyway. So, I'll go ahead and pop you, and then summon a level 4 alien. Sucks that it has to be a level 4. Like, it'd be really nice if it could just be any level. Like, level 1 through 4. But, nope. Has to be a level 4. So, I'll just go ahead and summon my Shock Trooper, I guess. This is a 1900 meter. Like, I think I'll attack, and then maybe go into... I forgot to put the fucking uh, rank 3. I said I was going to do it, and I completely forgot. I just hopped into another duel. Uh, maybe go into Castell and spin this card. Like, I think that might be decent. Maybe then he won't have his pendulum scales. I don't know. I mean, it's the pendulum mechanic. Sure, you know, it's like, oh, you get rid of their scales, and, you know, they have to go in. Yeah, but all they have to do is just set up the pendulum scales again, and here comes the, the you know, the shenanigans again. No, because I want this card to be destroyed. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just need to be in the graveyard. It's like, I want to be destroyed. No, I just want it in the graveyard, and they'll clearly be in the graveyard when I do this play. Clearly. Try to get rid of as many cards as I can. I'll try. I don't think I'm gonna win this though. I, I don't think I am, but I'll try. Uh, Ammonite is nice too. So I wouldn't be surprised, but just set up my pendulum skill again. Go to town on my ass. The next time, uh, next turn, I can at least go summon this. This will summon this, and I can go into a synchro monster, then return my shit, put some counters, and then remove some counters to pop a card. So. Uh, you know what the real cool thing is? Is that if I have like monkey board, I can I can use this, return the monkey board to my hand, so you just set up the pendulum scales again. It's, like, it's so simple, it's the pendulum mechanic, right? And pop your scale, it doesn't matter because you're gonna get the card right back to your hand again, like just go plus for no reason. Like, rip, rip. Mm-hmm. Ooh, synchro summon too? That may be just infinity and synchro summon. I think I've, I feel like I've seen this before. I've, I've seen the bracky fucking shit synchro. Put that back. I've seen this before. So, of course, Ignister. So, rip, rip. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm clearly dead. But uh, you can't say I didn't try, right? You can't say I didn't try. So, I'll spin this back. This would be the best choice, to tell you the truth. I guess I can activate Detail Turtle and do that play here. Yeah. Go ahead and set up your pendulum scales again, and then pendulum summon, 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 like. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And go into infinity too, because you can. <laughs> attack, 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 attack. I'm playing fucking aliens, dude. You're playing down on this. Like, I'd say you're at least tier, t tier two. With the pendulum mechanic and the access to infinity, like, you're tier two. I'm fucking tier. Doesn't even matter if I throw in the perform path. I'm like tier fucking sixty-eight. 
Like, <laughs> even with my new card that I seem to never get, I'm just drawing fucking the same two monsters over and over and over again. So I'll go ahead and turn these into Nova and Infinity, and then I'll, that's game, you know? That's... Oh, no, I'm going to Dynaster. Alright. So why not? Alright, so. Uh, let's see this play. So when do you go off? On summon? Or just any turn? Once per turn, you can select any number of face up spells or traps. Turn into your hand, should be counters. But uh, it doesn't matter if I distribute counters, I would only put on one counter, so. Rip. <laughs> like, rip. Uh, I can go into Cataster. Cataster wouldn't be terrible. But. It's not great either, so. Uh, this is my last hurrah for this duel. We'll go ahead and go into Cataster and then attack into the Ignister, and then he'll proceed to kill me, because he can easily, easily kill me still. It's like, isn't it like Pendulum Monsters can't be destroyed by Battle of my Cardifat? So. Oh, never mind. Oh, you couldn't even give me the satisfaction of that. Couldn't even give me the satisfaction of killing your Ignister. Like, rip. Rip. <laughs> Rip. Rip. Tore me a new one. <laughs> Shit. At least kiss me first. Next time you wanna fuck me. Like this man. <laughs> Shit. At least, <laughs> at least take me on a date first. Next time you want to fuck. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Dot dot dot. I got wrecked. Like holy shit. <laughs> I couldn't even. You couldn't. Like, you were gonna wreck me anyway. Like, you couldn't even give me the satisfaction of just getting me and it would kill your agnostic. He's like, nah, block that shit. Like all he had to do was just summon this fucking shit again. Fucking XC these two and their fucking infinity. Snatch my ass up and attack for a game. Like goddamn. Rip. Okay, well we'll get one. I'll give him the satisfaction of winning because he actually got the Carmen thing. <laughs> it's ca not Carmen. It's Cartman. It's a T. Yeah, Eric Cartman. But uh. I'll do the sacrifice win because we at least knew what that reference was from, but goddamn. <laughs> uh Yeah. Rip. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this is the like this is like the complete opposite of what I had. Like the pendulum mechanic is so fucking ridiculous, it's not even funny. Like shit, I might even do like a dynamis engine. Like I could probably do that. Like throwing a dynamis engine? I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, we'll get one more duel. Get back. This this card, this card, it's pretty chill with this like that. That that was pretty cool. You're back. All right, so probably the last duel. Yeah, this will be the last duel. So, wow. Once again, like, what's up with telepath? Like, can someone tell me? Like, this in the fucking Landria Pro, do you have like some unknown fucking coding when it comes to telepath? Because I've been literally drawing this motherfucker every single duel. Like, this is my fifth duel. And I've drawn telepath in the opening hand every single fucking duel. That's statistically improbable. Most of the time, two of them. Like, what the fuck? Like, all right, all right. Can I draw a spell? No. Dog again. Wow. What the fuck? This is literally the open same. Mm. Same opening hand over and over and over and over and over and over. Like, what the fuck? Dog and telepath. Like, something is up with these two motherfuckers. Like, yeah, I'm running three of each, but it's still statistically improbable. What the fuck is going on here? No spell, so rip summoner monk, I guess. Just attack with te telepaths, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. Prediction princesses, I'm about to get the shit slapped out of me. Like, should prediction princesses, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Yeah. Throwing with a little bit of Sardals, a little bit of, you know, the pot of taboos, like you already know. Like, rip, I'm dead. I'm dead. The funny thing is, I think I think Prediction Princess has been on almost every single day of his pulls, but it never wins. Like I think this that could be pretty fun, especially with that new uh, what's that flip monster? Fucking I forgot the name of it. A fucking uh, TCG exclusive archetype that they're introducing. I forgot. I forgot. No one cares. Wow. Rip. Rip. <laughs> I don't know if he disconnected. I disconnected. I don't know. We're gonna do a bear back. All right. Let's try this again. Hopefully, I don't open up the same shit. All right, I didn't open the same shit, but now I would love to go ahead and uh, do dog. So I'll probably draw on the telepath. If I draw on the telepath, it'll at least be okay. No, I didn't, but I got my fucking quick play spell, finally. That's great, that's awesome. So I really can't do anything with this hand. That's the funny thing. Like, like I really can't do anything with this hand. 
Like, yeah, I gotta take it slow. I got I actually gotta take it slow. Yeah. Do I have plays? Yes. Can I do a play right now? No, not really, so. Interesting, interesting. And if you just keep setting monsters, I can't put counters on you or do anything like that. Like, I can't even play this card. I can't play this card, I can't do shit. Like, I kinda wanna keep this card in my hand. Like, I don't even know what I wanna set. I set this, I set one of these, I set this or this. Yeah, I'll set this because even if it's in the graveyard and he and he gets rid of it like a twin twisters or something, I can still banish it to search during the next turn, so. Oh no, it's Yang Zings. I didn't know he was taking it slow. Like, holy shit, he was taking it slow, but yeah, it's Yang Zings. Alright, so. This should be frustrating, to say the least. Nothing, really? That's fine. That is fine. You can have that. Not even what I'm mad at. I have to get to use the recombination device. So of course we will activate this, put some counter target you, we'll send our uh, level four, put four counters on you. So I can actually do my fucking uh, play right now. My uh, my alien play. But I can banish this to go ahead and grab this. The question is, do I want to do that? I might have a more interesting much more interesting play. I could set this, then I could summon this, this can summon this, then I can, yeah, I have a much more interesting play, actually. Like, you know what? Let's see this, let's see this. Let's see this, so we're gonna go ahead and set this, because I don't need multiple of that. Go ahead and summon this, activate you, you summon you. I don't need to activate this, I don't think so. No, I don't need to activate this. I can pendulum summon this. No, no, because I want to, because I want to put some counters on you. Win some luck. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We might have. Well, I might be able to trish this man, actually. Like, I actually might be able to trish this man. And that would be fucking power. Alright. Then I do. Rising. Can you out. For. Sorcerer. Yeah. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Pop himself. Pop this set card. Which is another Pendulum Rising. The reason why I still run multiple. I may, I may be bad because of that, but I think it's still worth it. Uh, I'm going to set my Pendulum Scales. I think I might set this other Sorcerer on my Pendulum Scale. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. I think I'll get the Lizard Draw, set my other Sorcerer. Yeah, because the Lizard Draw can go up to a 2200. So that'd be pretty good. Um, so I'll go ahead and activate Lizard Draw. Activate this. Draw a card off of this. I need some little fours. Another freaking uh, combination, so that's fine. Pop this, draw. I don't know something, right? Yeah, I don't know something. Uh, uh, do I have two level fours? Yeah, I do. I do. I do, but uh, is it worth it? I could trish this man. I could really trish this man. And you already know, I would love to trish this man. Like this plus this. But I would, I would have to pendulum summon something I don't really want to do. Uh, I could Black Rose, I could Scar Ride, I can go into my boss monster. Boom. Oh, Dragon, what's the max deck? You two. So I pendulum summon you. I can go into a four. I think the only four I have is this guy. This guy who lets me draw. I can go into a seven, which will be Black Rose, but I don't want Black Rose to feel like that's dumb. Like, let me go ahead and activate this. Pop you. Special summon a level 4. That's good. Yeah, and then I could just go Sorcerer. Yeah, and I could trish him if I want to. Pick something out of his hand, pick something out of his graveyard. Yeah, I can trish this man. We'll go ahead and... Pendulum summon. We'll summon you and you and hold on to you. You, you, give everybody a boost. Uh, then you two can. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We might have something. They'll turn you two into you. And then you two can go into one of you. And I can draw a card. I might have game. I might have game. Synchro summon into you with you and you. I might have game. Is that game? 22, 22, 25, 19. Let me just tap. Let me see. Let me see if I have game, boys. Like, let me see if I have a game. 
think this might be game. That is then awesome. Done the performance pals with the aliens and go to town. Yeah, yeah. What's that game? It's going to 44. 44 plus that is 67, 67. Yeah, yeah that was game. That was game. All right, cool. So there we go. First duel with aliens, not terrible. Not terrible. Not terrible. And to get that performance pal set up, even performance pals make freaking aliens good. I mean, fucking if. If fucking pendulums can make crystal beasts look good, then why not aliens, right? We actually got this card, it got put in work, it saved us, and we did some play, so. I thought this second struggle was gonna be against the young thing, it was gonna be real, but all you did was go to nothing, no background, no nothing, not, I mean, I had two twitches anyway, but still. So, oh, we're on that path. Nostalgia is real, we actually did some alien play, so. And then, of course, if this card is XC7, I can draw cards I can XC and then not neg, so. Uh, yeah, one of him is good. Uh, I might cut my Synchro Monster down to two, because I. Don't think I'll be needing three and then put like a break sword for some case. No, we're on that. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed such like daily duels. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Another deck profile, another duel. Uh, duel. Uh, we have deck profile for the Silent Magicians, and I will be playing uh, uh, normal pendulum. Normal pendulum. So I get to play the pendulum mechanics. So that should be fun. All right, people. Thanks for watching.